everybody. Sarah here today. And today we have this nice exhibit all picked out. Now I can't find the animal. But we need it was you, wasn't it? Um what do you eat? I think it was you. Yes, it was. Well, hello. In case you don't know me, my name is Sarah. And today we are going to be, um, excuse my voice, I just woke up and I wanted to record before my sister could use the TV. Yeah. They didn't really get the chance to um, record yesterday because I didn't get this video out to you guys, but Fifth Melody broke up. But, but, before anything happens, I just want to say, but, we have two separate bands. You can find my sister's band on her channel, Glitter Buddies, but we don't want you guys to go there because me and my behind-the-scenes friend, you guys don't know her, and we have decided we are going to make up, a, use the old Fifth Melody and make up a new band. It's still gonna be called Fifth Melody. It's still gonna be an epic band. So, but it's gonna be awesome er because I want you guys to help us with stuff. You guys are gonna, the cast, I'm gonna go through and delete all of my Fifth Melody videos because they're very sad. It just reminds me of how I used to be friends with one fifth melody girl has just kind of eh. she hasn't been watching my videos as regularly. She just she barely says hello to me anymore. So I don't and she's really preferring Alicia lately. She says she'll play Sims, but I know that's not gonna last. So I, this isn't happening now, but I think we might be um, not going to be friends for much longer. Fifth Melody was the thing that drew us together, and you guys know that. Let's make sure this exhibit is good. Um, this is going to be difficult because, as some of you know, I use my headphones to record. I know because I don't have a stand and my computer is kind of high. Now I'm using this box since my dad took his headphones um, for a business trip to New York. So, it, and I, he just got back and I cannot find them because I don't want to sift through his duffel bag which, by the way, is incredibly ugly, and please go buy a new one. Actually, don't go buy a new one. That'll save you more money on me. So let's just face the deer. I think we're gonna get three females. Oh my god, the males are so handsome. Well, I'm gonna need some name suggestions from you guys in the comments. What should we name her? I mean, I like it. What about Isabel? That doesn't sound good, does it? How about, how about Jessica? I'm naming her after my teacher. And you can be Austin. 
I'm naming him after nobody. And you can be Lainey. You guys, I think you know Lainey. She's the fifth and fifth melody and maybe coming back to one of our bands. We don't know whose band she's going to go with, but we hope she's going with fifth melody. Same with Lexi because she wasn't here when we broke up. I'm pretty sure she's going to go with our band because if not, you you may see Mia on this channel. You may see Alicia interrupting on this channel. And, I mean, that'll be normal. What are you guys doing, Lainey? <laughs> I love these gear. These are like my babies. I've never actually used them in a zoo before. I have a lot of new custom content animals, which you guys just saw, and I'm probably getting more today. As well as some new sim content, which I've really been waiting for. I'm sorry I haven't been playing Zoo Tycoon. It's just I have a 100 baby challenge off camera. I'm thinking about doing a Sims 3 one of those, by the way. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. And, yeah. So let's continue with our little petting zoo. Oh my god, there's a platypus. Well, you're probably not going to want to be in our petting zoo, little guy. You can't actually pet them, but I'm hoping to find a mod for the petting zoo. Please, if you're a modder out there, please make one of those for me. Thank you. Let's go with the low wooden rail fence for my little common bee fowl. You know what, you guys? Why don't you guys go get... If you have Zoo Tycoon, go get on Zoo Tycoon. And I'm going to be doing a live stream um, later today. How's... Hang around your computers from 12 to 2. Because I will be doing a live stream on Zoo Tycoon. And you guys can leave comments and go on Zoo Tycoon. Show pictures of your exhibits. I hope it's that fun. I mean. And even if you guys don't have Zoo Tycoon... You can leave comments for um, my zoo that I'm going to be making. It's just going to be a one-time thing. I mean, I'm making a, let's, it'll be like a, let's make zoos together. You guys can build on your zoo. I'll build on mine. And you guys can um, comment. And the guy, people of you who don't have Zoo Tycoon can say, Hey, maybe you should add the panda into your um, exhibit. And I'll say, maybe I don't want the panda right now, but how about the red panda? And you guys can give me some nice influence on what I should do. By the way, I'm now obsessed with this Cindy bubblegum. Okay, here's a trick from me. So I'm probably going to get rid of this. But then you can just, like, um, fill up a whole area with it. It looks amazing. I mean, look at this. Just look up. Your pee fowl will love it. I mean, I think they will. Mine do. Not sure about yours, though. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. And just add in some... White lilies, they're my favorite flower to add because they just look so nice. Maybe a couple fountain bamboo. I think I may be putting in some water dishes underneath the trees. So they can drink from underneath the trees. That'll look cool. That will look cool. I'm determined to make it look cool. Maybe a couple of tree logs, like over here. 
crawling with things like well I don't want to give any spoilers in case you're a pea foul. You're probably not that so I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna fill it with. Bananas, maybe I'll all the berries if I can actually see where I'm putting maybe like right out here. I wanna add apples. Because you can't really get them anywhere else in, except for the enrichment catalog. Why did I save them for last? Now I can't find a place for them. Good work, Sarah, good work. Now let's add, seriously, V-Fowl? Two blades of grass for the pea. Three blades of grass for the pea fowl because they're, well, they're being cranky now. I'll give them that. And I'll give them a nice treehouse shelter. Let's explore it now. Okay, so you can just go through here, find your nice food, climb up the trees, have fun, climb up that, climb up that. We'll put in, how about three females and two males. Here, I'm going to pause it so I can add in our little males. Oh my god, you guys are gorgeous. Gorgeous, I say, gorgeous. What should I name you? Um... Dusty. <coughs> it's kind of a tradition that I always name one of my beef fowls Dusty. I mean, I just love their look because they just look so like they need a name, and I've chosen Dusty. Just a little up close. Yes, that's much better. Okay, Dusty, go over here now. I need to see this one. We will name you Lexi. I'm pretty sure Lexi likes peacocks. Fun fact that I read in a book. Not sure if this is true, but I read it in a book. Peafowl. Male peafowl colors only are reflex of things, like on the water. Really, their fur is brown. I think it's just their body, because only sometimes you'll see like the blue instead of the, and sometimes you'll see the brown. But the feathers really are um, that those colors, but the bodies are brown. I'm gonna check out some animal books sometime when we go to li the library. And you guys will love them. Love them, I say, love them. I'm gonna probably find out the most interesting facts about a pea fowl and then give them to you. I'm going to name a pea fowl after my sister and a friend who maybe will be appearing on my YouTube channel soon. Let's view the common pea fowl. We should have probably viewed it again before we added in common beef out. Hey guys, maybe it's just me, but I actually happen to find it nice naming my common beef out. I don't like, um, Siri doesn't name all of her animals. She's waiting to name all of them, but she just doesn't do it. Ooh. 
Wee! Hello, little girl. I'm gonna add a little food side cafe here. Maybe I'll add like some picket fences that lead over here and then they just kind of vanish. I'm gonna get rid of this one and this one. And that'll lead up here, around here. It's got to be short, so guests don't can't just go wandering in there from the other entrances. I'm gonna make sure they can't because I'm gonna use the white picket fences. These guys are actually really handy for decoratives. I mean, they're a little weird for like um, animal exhibits, but not much else. I mean like, see how I used them? And I plan to add some flowers everywhere. <laughs> I really want some decorative pieces. I have favorite that I think I'm going to put right in the middle. Um, is it this one? No. Is it this one? No, these are the ones I wanted to border my nice restaurant. Looks a little weird, but you get used to it. And I mean, they take up a whole square, so it's not like those teensy tiny flowers that you waste your money with. It's the ones that actually look good. See, they do look pretty nice. I mean, from a far away distance, especially. When you get up close and notice the fencing, you get a little weary about them. But I say they look pretty good for our cafe, and it leads directly to the exit. I mean, not the best choice, that's for sure, but. What would my cafe do? What would the, our lovely little guests like? Definitely a restroom. They would probably like a restroom. I always get notifications about them. Your guests need more restrooms. My guests do need more restrooms, I guess, if they're complaining. Guests can't find donation boxes. Well, we'll get there eventually, guests. You can just shut up. This is what I'm gonna call the granny stand. Any grannies here today? Come pick up. Um, nice gift. You'll, f you'll only find it in the great granny section. Well, you guys, let's just finish up and we will be out of here because I have to go wake up my mother <laughs> and tell her I am very hungry. And then we will continue filming. Let's just check on our peacocks. I want to check on her. So let's see what we've accomplished today. This is something I'll probably do at the end of each video. Shut it, guest. Just go in there. So we have accomplished finishing up this exhibit and adding in Jessica branches. No, just kidding. Austin and Lainey. No, little girl, you can't go in here. That's what I'm going to... Look, she just knocked on it. I think that is hilarious. And so I'm going to leave that in the description as an overview of what happened. Um, we have accomplished this whole peacock exhibit. You guys, this whole peacock exhibit... This all peacock exhibit. All peacock exhibit. Wee! And the 
this is my little big fence gate. And this. Next time, we will probably finish up our, our petting zoo. I know it's not going to be a very big. Why don't we stay an extra 10 minutes? We can add our final exhibit. I want to add our final exhibit. Um, beavers. Can we add an Asian golden cat? They're so pretty. But we probably shouldn't. The bang with the da bang. Are they violent? But I don't think we want another deer. Oh, a doiker. I want the doiker. Eclectico. Crab eating fox. Oh my god, they're so pretty. They are so pretty. Why am I whispering? Maybe the brown hyena? They're really cute. Aye aye. They're, they could probably bite, bite your finger off. Whatever the heck this is. Egyptian mongoose with Jackala actually looks pretty weird. How about a nice aquarium? I know it's not gonna be the most attractive. Thing. It's not going to be the best either, but we're going to do it. Leave a comment if you guys know this song. You just gotta do it. You got to own it, own it. To the beat of your own drum. Is it like that? Is it like that? Hey, hey. You just gotta say, hey, hey. Probably not. It's from one of my favorite movies. Another Cinderella story, Selena Gomez. So much better than the one with Figamoo Boobie. <laughs> Sophia Carson. Ladies! Okay, you guys. Next time, we're going to be seeing some babies from Lainey. I'm especially concerned because Lainey is one of my friends. So, I, you guys better leave some good names down in the comments. Did I forget to give you guys water? Don't forget to give the peacocks water. Please do not forget the, to give the peacocks water. I will probably kill you. Why did I give you guys such a big tank? You guys don't even need it. What are the guests gonna see? Oh, hi, Arctic Cods. Oh my God, they're so small. They're so small. The guests are going to be more interested in the gum and the Arctic Cods. We may put one of my other fishies in there. I do have another one. If you guys wanted to see it. Let's go to grassland. I think it's in grassland. <gasps> the domestic pig. We need the domestic pig in here. What the heck is a common bream? Well, you guys can go in there if you want. Here. Jessica's... Jessica is now pregnant. What? the heck. Let's put in this fencing because the pig is going to be right here and we don't even need to do anything. Awesome pig. Awesome pig. So we're just getting notifications that my deer are breeding and that is super exciting because next part there shall be some babies. How does it look? Really bland. Maybe we could make a barn. I'm going to try and make a barn out of these red bricks. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <gasps> we could let them out in the daytime and close them in at night. Right? 
right now, of course, I'm gonna let them out. And then we can just put a little. I mean, right now there's only gonna be two pigs. So, a lot of what? And they probably will want different things. Okay, I'm maybe taking this a little too elaborate. But I want my pigs to be happy. And I'm going to take all measures I have to, to make sure they are. The pigs were actually my first animal that I actually wanted. Yeah, it's that bad. I just didn't really want any of the others. Because I wanted to make a petting zoo. And I'm probably going to get the um, dogs next so we can have some little animal companions. And I happen to know that that is not bad. And I'm also gonna add some of my box elders, my brogues, oh yes, yes, please. And then maybe, maybe a little water trough and what's something they, they won't be eating? The grass, they won't be eating the grass. Maybe some little apples on the ground with my little friends like that. Cute little block of ice for banana. They would so like that squeaky toy. How long? Okay, we got about six more minutes before my timer goes off. It goes off silently because I didn't mute it for you guys. But it's really loud, but I've muted it to quiet. So, because my parents are still asleep. I don't really care if my sister's still asleep, but my parents are still asleep. So. Eh, it's not, it's kind of scattered, but the pigs don't care. You guys are like me, you just. I could have a little wallaby. Oh, so cute, so cute. We'll definitely be getting some of those. But for now, I'm going to buy two. I'm going to name you Oinkers. Uh, I forgot the I in Oinkers. Oinkers. And what shall we name you, you little... Princess, I like that because she's all pink. You guys, suggest names to me. Oh, hi. When I get baby piglets, I will be so happy. You guys don't even know. I think there are different colors, not 100% on that one, but I think there are. There may be a black one. So, yeah, let's see how our lovely ladies' pregnancy is progressing. Very slowly. I'm actually kind of surprised to see that. Austin. Austin has bread with every one of his ladies. So I have to go wake up my mom annoy my sister and yeah bye guys Ugh.